Autocompensation can be performed within the advanced functions pull-up drawer under the CompLogic SQI tab. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform autocompensation with a set of single color controls, but please see our other videos to see how to use a universal negative for a number of different samples, and also how to calculate and display the spread quantification index, or the SQI. So to perform autocompensation, we effectively have to follow the instructions displayed across the bottom of the CompLogic window. Here in the file inspector, I have a series of eight single color controls, and you can see that all samples contained within this autocompensation data set are also listed here in the compensation files window within CompLogic. So the first part of the process, as shown at the bottom of the screen, is to highlight the comp files and click set FCS. In this case, I will select all of my files and click the set FCS button. You can see in the toolbar, we have a few different statistics. So in this case, we have eight single color control samples selected. And the next step in the process is to highlight the parameters that we want to compensate. In this case, I'm going to hold down command or control in windows and select all of the relevant fluorescent parameters. And we can see that the number of parameters selected matches the number of files used in the process. The next step is to click set parameters. Now we have to match the file to the parameter and we can do this by confirming the specific file matches the appropriate parameter. It will pick up the order of the files listed in the compensation files window but if you do need to make a change, you can click on the file name and choose a different file from the list. In this case though, everything matches. The next step is to click set gates, and this will draw a polygon gate on the forward side scatter combination of parameters, identifying the densest population, and then the resulting population will be displayed as a histogram, where FlowLogic will automatically detect the positive and negative peaks. It is possible to display a polygon instead of the histogram with the Y parameter of the resulting bivariate dot plot, taking the settings from this drop down list here. However, I wish to use the histograms, so I can go ahead and click set gates. So here we can see the polygon for each file created on the forward side scatter combination on the densest population with the resulting histogram displayed beneath it and you can see the histogram markers have automatically detected the positive and negative peaks. This polygon gate is grouped, so if you do adjust the polygon on one sample, it will update for all, but you also have the option of removing the polygon from the group if needed. We can scroll across to confirm that all of the histogram markers accurately identify the populations but it is possible to adjust these histogram markers if required. After you confirm that all gates are appropriate, we can click Compensate. And the pop-up window will show which parameters are being compensated. And after this process has finished, this window will disappear and we can view the compensation matrix. The compensation process has now been completed and we can see the resulting compensation matrix. In the workspace, we can see a series of dot plots showing the negative population versus the positive population for every fluorochrome against every other spillover channel. And there's a horizontal line showing the MFI in the specific spillover channel for the negative and positive populations. So if this line is horizontal, then we have perfect compensation. We can also statistically confirm the values for the MFI in each of these spillover channels by clicking on the statistics window and then clicking on any plot. So here we can see we have 0.58 versus 0.75. Now some of these lines may not look horizontal, it is most likely due to the values being very close to zero. We have some alternative plot scaling options. So here in the CompLogic toolbar, we can click Log Scaled, 
and we can also view the full display. So if there are populations sitting below zero, then it will rescale the plot so we can visualize every single event. And this will give a more realistic indication of the accuracy of the compensation. So we can scroll through and check every single plot. If there is a sample that you think could be improved, we can click to confirm the MFI in the spillover channel. And if you want to make an adjustment, open the plot side window, select the interactive compensation tab. And this is where we can change the compensation for this particular combination of colors. So I'll click, we'll let it update, recalculate. And now we can see the values are a little closer. So we can make one more adjustment and this will also update the compensation matrix. So once you have your compensation matrix calculated, we have options to save the matrix. If you do save the matrix, then you can import it and apply it to a selection of files at a later date. You can also apply it directly to any experiment folder in the file navigator. In this case, there is only one folder. So if I click this, the auto compensation data set is the only option I have. And we can also create a report automatically in DocLogic using any of the elements derived from the autocomp process. So if I wanted to create a report with plots and the compensation matrix, I can make this selection, click send to report, and then the report will be made directly in DocLogic. If at any stage you want to repeat the process, simply click finish, and then you can run through the process from the beginning once again.